this cannon folks. Alright, we have made it to Hong Kong International Airport. Uh, let's go get checked in. Today we'll be flying on EVA 787-9, one of their newest aircraft in the fleet. Although it'll be a short flight from Hong Kong to Taipei, I'm really excited to check out their new business class product. I'm a huge fan of EVA service, although up till now I've only flown on their 777-300ER aircraft, which features reverse herringbone seats. We arrived at the airport pretty early and found a completely empty check-in area. Business class, premium economy, along with EVA Diamond and Star Alliance Gold members can use the priority lane, although there wasn't much of a difference in this case. After heading through security, we visited Singapore's Silvercrest Lounge. We hadn't had breakfast and we knew there'd be some good food there. The lounge has a cozy atmosphere and a good spread of armchairs. However, the lack of windows looking out into the apron really takes away from the excitement of the airport. There's a decent food selection with a mix of hot and cold dishes. One of my favorites was the nasi lemak. Don't mind the takeaway bowl. The lounge was having some running water issues, so they were temporarily using disposable bowls and utensils. Another specialty is the homemade soy bean curd dessert, which is very popular in Singapore. You can also ask the lounge staff to bring you a bowl of laksa or wonton noodles. I opted for a bowl of wonton noodles. After eating, I found a nice secluded pod seat to sit down. The lounge has a handful of these pods, which offer amazing privacy and charging ports. Make sure to get to the lounge early, as these seats can be hard to come by when the lounge is busy. Of course, I gotta have my coffee first. We were surprised that our EVA business class tickets granted us access to Hong Kong Airlines Lounge, so we decided to go check it out. So we are now in the Hong Kong Airlines lounge. First time checking out this lounge, it's actually pretty nice. Got some good food here. They actually have these very traditional Hong Kong style pastries called, uh, I actually don't know what they're called. Some, some kind of egg puffs. It's really good. 
As the lounge had windows facing the apron, it was perfect for aviation lovers like me. I spent a good amount of time here just plane watching until it was almost time for boarding. As the day turned to night, we headed to gate 30, where our flight would depart from. There she is, a beautiful EVA 787-9, just over one year old. As I mentioned earlier, EVA Streamliners feature their new business class product, which is comprised of 26 staggered seats in a one-to-one -one configuration. Thank you. feels actually like brand new. Everything looks so pristine. So in the front you have a large uh, TV. Pretty sure it's touch screen. A literature pocket over there. You've got your seat controls, USB charger and power outlets. Heading to the station. Phone jack. IP controller. And the LED reading lamp. And on the back here we've got the uh, headphone storage, some vanity mirror as well. Down here you also have some seat controls. I believe this is where the uh, tray table comes out. Nice sturdy tray table. Yeah, great leg room. Not a whole lot of storage space here, uh, which gives a bit more storage space. The seat also features the shoulder strap that is also found in some other business class cabins. The headrest is adjustable. EVA slippers are provided. As I mentioned in a separate EVA trip report, I find their safety video very creative and unique, but it's quite poor in conveying actual safety information. To ensure your safety, we would like to 
remind you that no dangerous articles may be carried in your baggage. I really appreciated this privacy barrier that you can extend. It really does make the seat a lot more private. The side table surface area is large and looks very clean. The noise-canceling headphones are provided by a brand called Thunder. They were pretty comfortable to wear. Let's have a look at the meal and beverage menus. I really appreciate the presence of a meal service even on a short one and a half hour flight. Here is a quick look at the onboard literature. Wi-Fi is available on the flight. The plans are based on data usage instead of time, which I find are usually not as worth it. The prices are also quite steep for the amount of data you get. EVA's IFE is called Star Gallery. The interface is really nice and intuitive to use. In terms of selection, however, it's definitely a bit lacking, especially if you only watch English movies like me.
You can also control the screen from the IFE controller or use it as a second screen itself. I really like the dark wood texture on this ledge. It makes it feel very classy. The side table light can be controlled by this button here. It's not a long flight, so I didn't have a chance to try out the bed, but a quick test proved that there's a generous amount of leg room. In preparation for meal service, this beautiful tablecloth was laid out on the tray table. I really admire EVA for their attention to detail. Here's the meal service. Due to the short flight, everything arrives in one tray. I opted for the wok fried cod with a side of garlic bread, fresh fruits, and a brown sugar cake. The food was all very delicious. Time for the laboratory tour. The laboratory is very spacious and clean. Aqua Colonia amenities are used. You also have a full-length body mirror. Too soon, we were already descending into Taipei. I wish I could have spent more time in this impressive business class product. And with that, my short flight on EVA Streamliner comes to an end. As you could tell, I was extremely impressed by how beautiful the cabin was. The mood lighting, colors, and finishing just worked so well together. Even with a limited service, the crew were great and made me feel very welcome. Make sure to check out my other trip report where I review EVA's 777 on a long haul flight. I'll link that in the description below. 
Oh, and of course, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can be one of the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, happy travels, and I'll see you in the next one.